No, I need to film this. I need you here. Oh, hang on. It's the wrong side. You've got to come down on a knee. Oh, on a knee. This is why it always looks like the place is bigger than it is. It's because oh, okay. I'm down on a knee. Oh, right, okay. So it looks like the ceilings are taller. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I like it. Nice. <laughs> Tricks of the trade. Yeah, yeah. So today we're redoing the tank behind me, the rainbow fish one. Um, I've called Matt in because it's fun. You know, and why not? Yeah, why not? And we always do better escapes together because it's like you bounce off each other of ideas and then even if I have a good idea and then you can tell me it's a good idea or yeah. you have one and vice versa, then you yeah. just go with it and it works out good. Anyway, we're going to be doing this today. <laughs> so recently we did a trip together to Tropaquaria Zoo, which has also got a whole fish section. Um, and we saw some of the tanks there yeah. that were like, for, they had a rainbow fish tank basically. And I loved the simplicity of it. It was just like a big piece of hardscape and a ton of very similar plants. And then the fish just look amazing. That's what I want to do here. Like this is great and everything. I've got a little bit of an algae problem, which we'll talk about in a minute, but I just want to just want to go back to like more basics and the fish should look great. Let's do this. <laughs> so here's where we're at the moment. The four foot tank, we've got uh, LED floodlights lighting the whole thing, which is more than adequate, to be honest. It doesn't look as good as, say, a Chihiros tank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, let the white balance adjust. Yeah. There we go. So, like, this this, this Chihiros looks amazing, but it's, like, 15 times the price of three LED floodlights. So we're going to stick with the floodlights. I think it will work well for what we've got planned as well, won't it, Matt? Yeah, exactly, yeah. With the with the sort of simple scape, the simple lighting works really well with it. We're going, oh, we don't tell them what we're going yeah, for yeah, yet. Yeah. No, don't tell them yet. First thing we've got to do though, <laughs> is get this whole thing cleaned up. We've got to put the um, the fish into some buckets. They'll be fine whilst we're doing the scape because it's only going to be for a few hours. Um, I don't even know if we need to reuse the substrate. We, we could reuse that actually. Yeah, a little bit of a vac and a little bit of a swim around would be all right. I've bought some little grading tinny. See those? Oh yeah, I was just looking at them to be fair, cake tins. Yeah, and you can you can just like grade out anything big. Nice. Or keep it, I mean, it, it looks pretty good. And we'll, we'll see, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. First thing though, get everything out, get it all cleaned. Right, the tank is clean, that is the boring part, hence speeding it up. And now we can make a start with filling the whole thing up with nice stuff. Um, nice stuff. Substrate system first. We're not going to anything too complicated, but I do need some nutrients with the big plants we've got planned for it. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't got them yet, we're going to get them later. Uh, but first of all, yeah, just building it up a little bit at the back. So we've got some old um, soil bags here. They're not too old, so they've still got some nutrients in them. I'll put some root tabs and stuff into the sand as well. But yeah, we just get them in at the back. Does that sound good, Matt? I think that sounds like our plan. We might as well recycle stuff where, where we can. And we've just taken some out, but they didn't have as much soil in as these. So we've got some really big root feeders. We need a good amount of soil. Yeah, just a row of that at the back would be perfect, I think. Because this one's filled. That's fine, we've got one. Yeah, and there's one smaller one that can go right in that corner. In both corners. Oh yeah, I didn't see this. Might as well. Yeah, why not? Dribbly. So pro. Dribbly. And then, of oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Someone's had an accident. <laughs> Uh, and then on top of that, you know the drill by now, coarser gravel, just to sort of lock it all down. And then there'll be, I've got a nice, finer, clearer sand for the foreground. But first of all, you just need to get that gravel on top. Ah! Where is knife? That was a bit, that was a bit over-exaggeration, wasn't it? No, you got a you got full got aggression it. mode. Fully, fully aggression. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. It's, like, it's like the pool guy on TikTok. But you can do the honours. All of it? Yeah. Don't say TikTok on YouTube will get cancelled. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Voila. Oh, we didn't want it in the front. We didn't want that down there. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we can move it, we can move the it. The bag split, no. <laughs> no, I cut that. Well, yeah, but you cut it too aggressively. That's true. Your fault. Lovely. Oh, yeah. I think, I'm not sure what to do with that. It's been there for a while. No small sand? No, not, no, I don't think we should put sand yet. I think we should get our hardscape in now. Ooh. That'll be the border between the front and back. Okay, I'm liking your We're going style. Going for the old bordery style. I'm not sure. Uh, something just broke. Uh, I'm not sure, like, for definite yet, but um, once we get something in there, we can decide then. It will evolve. Exactly, that's how I always do it. Just let it evolve itself. Okay, Matt's found me the piece. I think this bit. I think that bit. Look at that. It won't be upright, of course. No. It'll be laid down. But some good like shape that, there. yeah, that's good. That like that twist is really cool. Yes, let's put it in. Do oh, I say, I don't know your vision for this. We sort of discussed it quickly, but okay, get it in at horizontal as a border. Just put it in horizontal to start with completely, 
and we'll play. And we'll just, yeah, we'll just... I, I don't think we want more than the one piece. Not even in the middle, though, Matt. I think we should divide it. Yeah. Why oh, are you going from left to right? Left to right, interesting. Go That's right. really close. Go that way there. You know what I mean? That over there. No, because you went that way there. <laughs> no, no. That way. Yeah. Like that? Something like that. Yeah, just get that angle going. Oh. Possibly. Uh, we need something else going in that back area as well, but let's fiddle with it. Oh. oh, I'm liking that. It's like a night vision. Hi. It does look like something from Star Wars. It does, doesn't it? It's like night vision. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. that's, there's the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with the tape, just yeah, you just wearing, wearing a piece of wood. Nice, I like it. I don't need that bit now. No, I think that works, don't you, Matt? I like that. Because it, it keeps the flow going. Yep. It stays low, so you've got one high bit, one focal point. It is actually... Just where it needs to be as yeah, well, if you go by the rule of thirds and all of that. Yeah, if you want to stick to those. The golden ratio. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's get some pebbles. I want some big rounded pebbles, just so it looks like it's naturally gripped the wood. Do you know? Do you know? Yeah, so yeah. the wood's almost grown round it sort of thing. Yeah, and just yeah, got yeah. lodged in in the fast flow. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. There's the hardscape. We're loving that. We've got like a concave and then a convex. Um, it needs rocks in place. First of all, I want to put the finer sand in the foreground now. Um, not too thick at the front, just like half an inch or something, and taper on top of the coarser stuff at the back there. Look, there's more of a gravel at the back there. Um, and then that gives us a bed to be able to put the rocks onto. That sounds good, Matt. Sounds fantastic. Uh, we've just been to the pub, and that's why Matt looks absolutely hammered. I'm not hammered. I'm all right. I'm tired now. Could do a little kip. A little, little or, 20 minute nap. Or five more pints. Or that. Either <laughs> one. You've got to go, yeah, either way, haven't you? Yeah, you sleep or hit it. Yeah, we'll. we'll Let's just finish this first. <laughs> and then we'll go out. Okay, I'll do this with sound. You hang it over the edge and I'll cut the back. <laughs> sand waterfall. There's your sand there you waterfall. Go, see? Okay, stop there. I don't think I we can't. need it. No, you have to. What do you want me to do? Good spinach. Spinach? <laughs> okay, that's still a bit high at the front, but look at that, look at that. This is the best colour, we're just saying. I love this. It's like a slightly off-white. It's the most natural look. Not on its own. We need detail stones. We yeah. always need the detail stones, don't we? Once you get that in, and it does blend it in really nicely. Yes. So we're happy with that. We've got a nice selection of stones to put in now. Matt? Hello. Oh. <laughs> I was going to get the rocks. <laughs> Let's get the rocks. So in my other studio here, that beeping is because this keeps telling me that there's someone here and it's us. I know we're here. Oh, Better we in the floor. that's from earlier. So we saved the substrate, put in the bags. I recommend you guys always save your substrates. Um, so I always like bag them back up. I didn't know that there was a hole in that bag. Um, that's a trip hazard. So you've got the rock. The rock. <laughs> if you smell! <laughs> doesn't look like Dwayne Johnson. No, it doesn't. So these are quite interesting rocks. I stole these from my mother-in-law's um, garden. Them. Borrowed them. That was like a, two years ago. <laughs> Definitely stolen. Yeah, okay. Um, but they've got some interesting sort of patterns in them. Um, but, but yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? They you are know? nice. I really like them. Straight away, Matt was like, use those, use those. So we've got that one there. We've got a big one, we've got a smaller the one. one. hiding under the yeah, rock. Yeah, they're really oh, big yeah. ones back there, but I don't think we need that Do big. You not, you're not really, really, really big? Potentially. Let's get these in Let's first. Let's try this one. See how they look. We can go from there. Matt, stick it in that hole. You reckon in there? Potentially, because it's quite flat like that. Oh, crikey. Oh, it's quite It's chunky. massive, isn't it? Yes, that's quite... It'll slot under. I can lift up. That's quite a bit bigger than you anticipated, I believe. Oh, that side. It would be nice to have some height that side on that bit of wood. So if you lift it. The wood. Yeah, I yeah. can slide under. Hang on. It's got this That's stick. not going to work. It's that stick bit in it. <laughs> this stick. Let me come forward. God, this, everything's so heavy. It might sit there. What no? about that? Oh. Hmm. What do you think? I think it's kind of sporty. It looks a bit too high. Yeah, it is. It's bringing it up into the aquarium. The whole point of this is the plants later on we want really high, so we don't want the wood up. Let's now nah, take it out. Hang on. Hang oh. on. Oh. Hang on. No. Don't smash the glass. No, I'm trying not to. That doesn't. Why is that stood up now? 
It's just sat on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, it's on a dumbest, It's on a twig. Well, that has flattened it a bit. That's what I was thinking. If that twig was gone, right, we're just going to do this. Bits of wood <laughs> would loop around the pebble. I think we just need to do it and come back to it. Yeah. Matt and I then spent the next twenty minutes playing around with little bits of pebbles, trying to find that sort of perfect look. Now the problem is you're never going to find a perfect look, and you don't even want a perfect look. Let's face it, a river is very sort of odd. It's gonna have stuff chucked everywhere, basically tight to the edges, where the flow will go down the middle of the river and then anything on the edges can get caught up like we've got here in the wood. So that's the look we were going for. Now for the finer details, we went with the trusty Rio Ching Chingu. Ching we, I struggle with this every time. Someone said once it's Shingu, so I'm gonna go with that. Uh, Matt said possibly Zingu. Who even knows? Um, all I know is the stuff looks absolutely brilliant and adds detail to any scape. It looks so realistic straight away. As you can see here, Matt's just added in a few more of the smaller pebbles just to grade it down a little bit before we get to those finer details. As always, you don't want to be too careful with this. Just chuck them in and keep them tight to the bigger pieces of hardscape. <laughs> you all right? No, I will admit, I will admit this isn't like a normal thing to do. Like if, thing is, I find if you dry out, I've just washed the, the Rio. Shingu. Shingu, the Amazon pebbles. I've just, um, I've just dried them, uh, washed them out. So I find that if you try and scatter them when they're wet, they don't fall as nicely. I'm probably being a bit overkill here and it does look weird drying it. It just looks better, all right? I it looks better it on right. camera. On camera. Is it just, nearly dry? It is nearly dry. Okay. No. Twenty minutes. We need to get to the pub. <laughs> Good job. I've got a six hundred degrees <laughs> heat gun. What energy crisis? <laughs> that's, that's enough of this. This is really unnecessary. Yeah, it's right. really. Un Unne I used to brush stuff, and I was like, I'm filling up with water. It's just going to come off anyway. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is where the magic happens, okay? <laughs> okay, the magic, Whee! that's it, that's all I do. That's all it is, yeah. yeah. No skill involved at all. Honestly, just... the, the gravel like this does make a tank. Yeah. It's the mic on. What? It's the mic Oh, it's on. the mic, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, look how much different that makes it. I'm gonna try, normally I bring more into the foreground, but I'm gonna keep it right tight this time. What are you doing? You're showing off the guns. I'm it. Oh. <laughs> You have been training though, haven't you? No. no. <laughs> yeah, in Mackie's. <laughs> Professional speed eater. Yeah. Professional Big Mac eater. I need some underneath that wood bit. Yeah, cram it in there. That's better. This looks a bit weird otherwise, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's looking so good. I mean, I have quite often used this stuff before, but there's a reason for that. It is the best looking scatter gravel I find. Yeah, you need to get this stuff in the shop, Matt. It's so good. Yeah. I've never found anything so varied. Look at that. Sizes, shapes, colours. It, oh, yeah, beautiful. It proper natural riverbed, isn't it? Yeah. Now, Matt asked me a good question. He said, is this going to float? It's a really dense wood. I've had it underwater a long time, and it's also been out of a tank for a long time. There is a, there is a possibility <laughs> that it that it, it will float. Yeah. When we fill it up, I'm gonna keep a close eye on it. If it starts to lift, we stick a rock in it straight away, okay? Okay. Or get on it with the glue. What now? Well, I don't know. I could just do it. Oh, just, yeah, I'll, get, I'll glue it, I'll glue it. I'm gonna glue it. We've got just some big rocks there. A couple of points. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Now, I know what you're thinking. This looks quite flat. Normally, I'm all about getting height with your hardscape. I want the plants to be like the main focal point in this. I think I've already said this, but that is true. Yeah, I know, I agree. I think it's, yeah. It's a nice low riverbed style. I like it. Yes. We're stood too high here, but here's the actual height. Look at that. Oh, loving it. Right, we're happy with that. Next job is the planting and filling. And Phil. Phil. Easier. Phil's coming to fill the tank up. No, it doesn't work, does it, if you've got to explain it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a good joke if you've got to explain it. <laughs> right, we're definitely there in terms of what we want to do in the foreground. Good details look. Everything's looking great. Now for the planting, I explained to you guys, I wanted to keep it very sort of uniform matching. And why is that, Matt? 
It just gives that better look, doesn't it? It gives that riverbeddy look. It's just well, and you saw it at Trop Aquarius. That's the main reason. (laughs) I'm still. Everyone steals ideas from everyone. Yeah, and then you just tweak it to make it your own. That's exactly right. Exactly right. So yeah, hang on. You can't reinvent everything all the time. So if any of you guys want to copy any of my ideas, for instance, and start your own YouTube channel, do it. I don't. I don't own any of this. Everything I use is from someone else. Everything they used is from someone else, and it goes way back. Like. It's, nothing's really new, is it? No, not at all. You go back into all the books and everything, it'll be the same sort of thing. Plants, wood, rock. It's you know, It develops over the years, but yeah, it's essentially the same thing with just a slight tweak on it. That's, that's basically what... So sometimes people go, oh, some of your escapes look quite the same. You're using rock and you're using wood and plants. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's kind of what I do here. That's not a lot else, is that? You can't, you've got to run out of... Yeah, we need to grow something else in the wild that we can use in fish tanks. <laughs> Wood, rocks, we need something else now. But I like this. I like doing this. I like what I like. And if you guys want to come along for the ride, brilliant. If you don't, there's plenty of other things you can do. Like RC cars or something, I don't know. RC cars, yeah. Yeah, why not? I could go on board with that. <laughs> anyway, we now need to go get the plants because I don't have them here. They're actually at Matt's shop. Yeah. In the eight foot. Yep. So we... We planted a ton of val, didn't we? we that did, tank right. is so overstocked now with it. It's starting yeah. to stop the light coming in. That's it. We it need needs to thinning thin out. out. Yeah. yeah, thin it out a lot. To be fair, there's a lot of stems that could come out. Well, stems, plants. Yeah, Those what ones, are they? I don't know. Uh, runners. 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 I don't, I don't know what they are. Yeah, well, valis. We Val- need to we need to strip a load of the valis out to let some light get back through to the bottom. It's so deep though. Like, how are we going to reach down the bottom? Uh-huh. Just get in, snorkel. We have to get in. Have you got a snorkel? I have at home. Yeah, I'm not. Not sure I want to get in the eight. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. All right, I'm just going to roll up my sleeves and dive in. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Right, we're at the shop, and this is what we're talking about, the Val that's behind here. She's looking great, isn't she? She's looking lovely. Did you know Val was in today? Uh, yeah, I put her on the rotor. Um, I haven't teched audio at all, so hopefully this is good. So the thing is, right, <laughs> is that's a really deep tank. Yeah. And Val's really hard to sort of get out as well, because obviously it's right in the sand, isn't it? Yeah. And it sends out these runners. Um, it sends out a runner and then another plant grows. And you have to break it in between the runner. So which means you've got to get right in there. Are you confident, Matt? No. Anyone else? No. <laughs> we'll give it a go, we'll give it a go. Whoa. Yeah, we're just gonna, yeah. That's gonna look great. That wasn't a broken one, that's Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's somewhere attached. in there. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm we're not gonna... sure this is a good idea. It's, you know it's going to look good. It'll look good. I'm just not sure it's a good idea. Oh, <laughs> us, oh us taking it out? Yeah, because it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. <laughs> right, I'm going to go. I'm going to attempt this. I've got to wade through it all. It's going to go through it. It's giving me down there. Hang on. Well, Thing is, I'm pretty, I didn't bring a spare t shirt. I'm pretty sure it's going to come past this oh, yeah. point. <laughs> Yeah, I'm up there. Yeah, we should. We should be all right. You reckon? <laughs> I don't know where I'm looking, though. That's the thing. You need to direct me, man. Well, at least it's not cold. Yeah, somewhere about there. That one? Yeah. Oh, it's coming up lovely. For the rope fish. Oh, he's going to bite me. Yeah. Ropey Muck Ropeson. Look at that. We got one. That might be Mrs. Ropey Muck Ropeson. Look at that. Perfect. I do. Look at that. Okay, that's easy. Okay, let's keep this going. Oh, definitely. That's the thumbnail. You with a wig of balance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to snap it though, mine. So uh, this is what I'm dealing with. It's all tangled up. Oh my word. But we, we are thinning it out quite nicely. Um, but it's still, if you come down, it doesn't really look like we've touched it. So absolutely perfect. That's what you want to do. Like no impact on the skate. Yeah, it looks nicer to be fair. It's been getting really thick at this end. So it does need clearing out. It, it's only going to grow back in like two weeks anyway. Yeah. So Yeah, it won't mind. <laughs> We I have got a oh. on a of bags, quite on the set. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was talking. <laughs> Martin wanted to swear at me there. <laughs> <laughs> we have got a whole bucket full now. Oh, it's looking so good. That's a great root system. That there, is isn't amazing, it? isn't it? Um, have we got a lid for this, Sam? Uh, yeah, yes, we? we do. Good, because we need to tra- transport it home without it drying out. Ideal. Let's get it back and put it in the tank. Right, we've got the plants. No mess. It. We've got the plant. Yeah, we've got the plants. <laughs> no mess in this. We get them straight in. Um, they might be drying out in there. Plus, it's not like my usual planting where it's got to be like that there, that there. We're just covering the whole back area of the tank 
in Val, and that should be just this massive curtain of green in front of the rainbows. That's going to look good. That's going to look good, right? I'm hoping so. No, you know it will. <laughs> yeah, it's going to look amazing. <laughs> Literally instantly forgot how sort of big these were. I think we're going to need to fill the tank up and just plant them in as they sort of float. It's just going to be a mess otherwise. Should we just fill it up? Yeah, I think we need to fill it up. <laughs> it's not going to work. I always find that filling a tank up with water for long plants makes them sit so much better when you plant them. You can see what you're doing. As soon as it was filled up, in went the planting. As you know, we've got all that valesanaria in the background and in the foreground, we went for some dwarf sage. It sort of complements the val really well and also brings it into the foreground a bit more. Two days later, and here is how it's sitting. I mean, come on guys, look, how cool does that look? If I come in close, you wouldn't know that you weren't in the river, would you? <laughs> okay, a couple of things that we've added. Uh, you might see this here. I say we, I'm the only one here at the moment. Obviously Matt's at work and it's the middle of the week so <laughs> I can carry on. But yeah, down here, let's move this trolley with all my bits and bobs in. Uh, down here we've got a canister filter. I haven't used a canister filter for a long time. This just happens to be a really good one. This is the um, Oase Biomaster, I think it's 850, I think it's called, yes. Right, I think. Yeah, just checked. The 850, so it's got a built-in pre-filter. It's got a built-in heater as well, which I don't use because I've heated up the whole room. So I don't need like extra warmth, do I? We're all good. But we've got that look that I wanted, that real plain sort of simplistic look down the base. Really, really simple. One big piece of hardscape, a couple of other big bits of rock, and then you build around that with the small details. Look how good that stone looks, eh? You can't get better than that, I don't think. I haven't seen any anyway. And I love the way that we've got um, just the two plant species. Like, like normally I go, oh, let's add some more details here, some more there, but I am not adding any more to this. The fish are gonna look so good. Might need to trim some of these because they're curled up a bit around there. <laughs> they are so long. But for now, I'm probably just gonna leave it. It looks so good. Fish wise though, where are the fish? So I'm currently in my other studio and this is the tank that's currently holding all of the rainbow fish in, you see. Obviously, well, this probably is big enough for them, to be honest, because they're not fully grown adults. But this is just a little one I've just, I just chuck some plants in to let them um, grow out or just until I do another setup. So it's a perfect little tank with a couple of filters in there already that's just all filled, all um, cycled. So it's, it's okay just to put the fish in. So we've got rainbow fish, obviously, and down the bottom, where are you guys? Ah, there's a couple at the back that we've got Corey's in there as well and we've got Otto Sinkless and a couple of bristle nose so they're all get good to go back in but I'm not going to do it just yet because me and Matt are going to um, tomorrow we're going to get some more f to I say tomorrow on the video it's going to be in a second but um, we're going to get even more rainbow fish we want a few more in there he's got some really nice extra ones in the shop at the moment so we're going to add them to this group and that'll be awesome so we both have mics on yeah walk away go away you can go away now just keep, you've got to what, say can stuff. You, can you cool? still hear me you while don't need I to shout. Does this work over here? It should Does work this over work here. over here? And here? We're and here. Up for the what about over no, here? We're at the shop. We've come in together, but it looks like Matt's just been sat here all day. I'm just chilling. Yeah, I'm not working, am I? It's no um, usual. A. <laughs> Leave Matt's it out, off, Zach. Matt's off today. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, I thought Look how tan Danny look is. Look, look at it. Danny, Danny, how long have you been a professional model? Uh, not long. <laughs> Hand, hands and feet only. Danny's just come back from Portugal. <laughs> um, Danny's just come back from holiday, which means we will soon be scaping. Yeah, right. This hit. I say soon. It's been sat like that for about two Every months now. Ready. Oh no, this is coming out. You know what that means? Psycho Matt alert. <laughs> Man needs a boost. <laughs> you tired? Always. Baby, keeping you up? Absolutely. Yeah. To be. I just told Matt he's three and a half months in now. That this is the toughest point. Yeah, Anyone then, out there with babies will know. Oh, it's but, only downhill from here. No, uphill. The, no, the, one of those. The problem is everyone says, oh, it's the toughest point at the moment. And then I get like a month later and then they're like, it's, oh, the, it's toughest the toughest point, point at the moment. Yeah, because that tough moment goes on for six months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 18 years. Yeah. yeah. Why, are we right. here? Why are we here, Matt? Rainbow fish. So we are back in the store for more rainbow fish. We've already got a good group, but we want to add a few to it. And also some, there's some cool quarries over there as well. Yep, yeah, you like the quarries, didn't you? Yeah, yeah there's some cool ones over there. Yep. Well, I'll show you when we're there, but uh, rainbows that way? Uh, yeah, that way. Okay. That'll work. Oh, no, you can, no, I can follow you and you can talk. Oh yeah, of course I can talk now, can't I? Yes. That's hopefully. exciting. Let me check. Yes, sound is on. Oh, what is it? What is it? Uh, rubbish. 
Just r rubbish? Well, not literal rubbish, but oh. just <laughs> normal things. This didn't used to be the rainbow section, but I guess it is now. Oh uh, yeah, we've been moving some stuff around. I think it's all gonna move around again because we've had a few different ideas. So yeah, we just want to increase our community fish sections. Sweet. Um, but <gasps> these guys up here are oh, really yeah. cool. Yeah, look at the blues. Yeah, really nice. So your name? Black banded rainbow fish. Black banded. And yeah. I'm guessing, same with others, males are like the multicoloured, looking awesome, females are... The females will be a little bit drabber. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah. We're cool with that. But yeah, oh, definitely. really nice ones up there. A couple of those. Three? Yeah, a little trio would be nice, I think. Yeah. We can get because... on board with that. And then, yeah, we saw that awesome one down here, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, there's some nice blues. And then... Wow, look at that colour. I can see them at the back. There's one. Oh, yes. The orangey one. Let's go here. Oh, I want him. So what is he? So he's a uh, yellow, which is a Tabera. I think he's a Clear, lake Tabera. Clearly not yellow, Matt. No, <laughs> they, they do go yellow. The body goes yellow eventually. <laughs> and we've got some girls in there with him and we've got some girls with the blues as oh, well. That's a big old adult. Yeah, I think that's a female Parkinson's. And I think we did have a male Parkinson's in here. He's at the back. They're the ones with the orange fins, top and bottom. Okay, so, yeah. so we've got some good options. We've got um, a lot of options. And then also, the Corys that I saw. Yes. You know the ones, you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, me and Matt were in here. Am I allowed to say it or? Yeah. The skunks. We were in at the weekend to get the, um, to get the reeds or also known as the valve. The reeds. From the eight foot. So I saw the fish in here that I wanted to add then. Yes. So I think you're just jealous of my skunks at home. I think that's all it is. They might be. No, your skunks are much smaller, aren't they? They oh, were, they were dinky. I'm not supposed to say what they are yet. I said that over there and you said it was fine. Okay. <laughs> there they are. There they are. Look <laughs> at that. Okay, for some scale, they're big quarries. Yeah. But it's a big tank, you know, it's a four foot tank. I reckon a good six of those. Yeah, I think a nice little group of them would work well. <sighs> okay, well, you know what to do. Bag, Bag them, them up. up. Matt's just got these in as well. Yeah, they're really cool. They are crystal tetra. Yeah, so they are see through. Quite which is cool, quite aren't cool. They? Yeah. Very expensive, but then they're a special fish, aren't they? Yeah, so. that's it. They're not. They're never going to be a cheap fish, unfortunately. No. It's the first time we've been able to get them in a while. So. Really? Yeah, so if you're local and you're interested, come and get them. I don't think I'm doing them justice with a the camera. They're no, really I don't cool. think you can. In, with oh. your eyes, they look... They look, they look they look no, I'm not going to point. It's hard, it's hard to explain, <laughs> but... Uh, I was just yeah. going to point out some more cor reticulated at the top. Oh, we've got more cories at the top, reticulated. Or network, some people call them. They're really cool as well. You love um, your quarries, don't you, Matt? Yeah, big fan of quarries. So how come some of them have got that black um, dorsal? Oh, it's just probably settling in. They oh, should... no, it's just that one that hasn't. Yeah, they should it still all settle has. in eventually once they're uh, yeah, fully customised to the tank. But it'll probably be dominance. It'll be, yeah, just a little bit of everything, really. We'll go for the skunks. I like the skunks. They're and nice then... with, that, with that stark coloration. They do look good. And I've also got the Venezuelan. Oh, yes, we had a nice group of Venezuelans yeah. in there. So, so that'll, be, be, that'll be plenty. Don't want to overstock, especially to start with. So, yeah, yeah cool. We got fishies, we got fishies. We're back for the fish shop. We got three kinds of, no, four, is it four? Four, yeah, 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 because I put two in one bag, yeah. Okay, wicked, we've got four kinds of fish in there. Our tank is ready to go. Matt, this is your first time seeing it since you left. After Matt, fill, um, we filled it up, Matt left and it was so- Was he well, here, was he? We both left. Was he here? Who? Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, you're really dark. Hang on. Yeah, so after we left, because we went to the pub and everything, uh, <laughs> it actually took a few days for the tank to get clear. Now, initially, it didn't get clear at all, but I added Purigen to the filter there, and also the filter, the actual canister filter's got several packets in as well, and also one big water change, and here we are. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? It's so, looking great. So I think what we'll do is all the new fish, we're just gonna hang them in the water, and then give them 20 minutes or so to temperature acclimate. We turn the lights off and then we can put them in. Right, fish are acclimating, lights are off. Some of the rainbows are kicking right off at the moment. They'll chill out, they'll chill. 
Yeah, there we they go. Just, they're chilling. They're they chilling. see their awesome new home and they just want, just want to get in. Yeah, they just want to get out. We're bored of this. We don't need to wait. We want to get in. <laughs> right, we'll give it a bit of time and then they can go in. Obviously, it's Matt's store. Well, Matt's the manager of the store. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I trust everything, all their systems. So I'm happy just to cut the bags and release the fish. There's no need for nets or anything. Um, if you're not sure about your, short, your stores, you have to do quarantine take the whatever but are we okay Matt in your opinion to go straight in? absolutely fine yeah these all of these guys have been in for several weeks and have gone through their treatment protocols and we've had no issues with them so yeah they're yeah solid so we can just cut and release and then I can add the existing fish to this tank which I think will work better than adding new ones to an like a you know a group that used to each other yeah yeah you'll, you'll have different things but yeah I think this will work quite well Okay, let's re release them. All right, it's time to release the fish. I'll take this one, Matt. Yep. Oh, the corridors have got two bags. Oh, they? Oh, yeah, because they were trying to poke their fins through the other bag. Oh, this is cutting a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, first rainbows going in. Oh, good size. Yeah, they're, they're nice. about the same size as my biggest ones, which we'll obviously be adding next. These are the smaller ones. These are the blues and the yellows which you can't tell the colour at the moment, but you will. Oh, they look great already, in there, even without their colour. Yeah, they're looking cool. Right, and then you've got the skunks. Hang on, I want to film this. I want to pick this up for these. Taking a look right, at you. let me take, take their top. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> got them. Okay, here we go. Hang on, no, 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 I've got a... Oh, on. wicked. It's so good because obviously it's four days since we sent this up, uh, set this up. I've been looking at an empty tank, so... A fish, a fish tank really does come alive as soon as the fish go in, in my opinion. These, these skunk quarries are amazing. What are you doing? Cutting the wrong end. <laughs> you have done this before, Matt. Yeah, I know, several times. <laughs> okay, they're big, big quarries, these look. Whoa, they're so cool. Look at that. I've wanted these for ages. Um, you didn't pick these for your tank map, did you? Because they were a bit bigger. You went for the smaller ones. Yeah, I went for the juveniles because, yeah, I wanted them to grow up in there sort of thing. So, yeah, we did have these at the same time. But yeah, I remember. Yeah, no, I thought it would be better to get the small ones. So, how many did we go for in the end? Six? Yeah, we've got a nice little group of six. There's five there. I don't know where the sixth one did. He there's did five, head off oh, into yeah, the plants. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's the other one. I was like, no, Matt, there's four. <laughs> and there's another one. Oh, he's up and up in the woodland. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> It'll come out in a bit. Right, that's wicked. Now we can actually, oh, the blues are starting to come out already. Yeah, you're starting Look to see that. some coloration That coming. didn't take long at all. Nah. Okay, now for the other fish. Let me show you. And voila, here they are. All doing great, look, Matt. Oh, look at them, bless them. But the problem is we've now got to catch them all. Ah, oh, yeah. You are an expert fish catcher, though, I have to say. I am all right at it, yeah, yeah. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I have got loads of big nets, though, so that does help. Double me net method? Yeah, double net, and then we'll, uh, yeah, get them out. We have fish. Do we? We got more, haven't we? Yep. Yeah. Corridors. So we've got Corys Otto in that Sinkless. one. Otto's in that one. And our rainbows. All the rainbows in that one. They get a bit stressed. Let's get them across. Remember, temperatures are matching. I heat the room. So this room is the same temperature as the room of the other tank. So all the water is the same. Let's do this. We're going to start with the Otto's, then the Cor. Oh, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> right, first fish going in is the Otto Sinkless. Go, my friends, <laughs> clean for me. Straight on the wood. Yeah, <laughs> straight on the plants and wood, done. Let's not worry, let's not mess about though. Straight onto the quarries. How many have we got here, Matt? How many did you get? I up? didn't actually count them. There's One, quite two, a few three, in four, there. Five, six, about 10. We've got nice. about 10 Venezuelan quarries. Whee! No, no noises. Look at that. And one more. There you go. Oh, they're nice. And one more. Come on. <laughs> he likes, He's coming back up. He likes the jug. There we go. <laughs> Looking good, so that's nice. Right, straight with the skunks. Yeah, and it's woken up a couple of the skunks. The skunks were like, oh, what are you? <laughs> oh, it already looks cool. They're looking good. And the piece of resistance. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them all. Looking good. Look at that. That's a great little shot as well. In you go. Oh, I do like rainbows. Nice. <laughs> and they're already coloured up nicely as well. 
Yeah, those rainbows do look good. The Bosmani, and yeah, they're looking good. Yeah, see, it does look. Shot. Does, it's, you're underwater. Yeah. You're basically underwater. It does look like the edge of a lake, doesn't Absolutely it? Absolutely love it. I was just saying to Matt, I really like this new idea. Well, it's not new, but new for me, <laughs> yeah. of having like that really sort of basic, you know, look to the scape. Yeah. Real simple planting, like uh, uh, in terms of species. I think there's a lot to be said for it. I think, you know, you could replicate it as well in different species. So, you know, maybe just stems or just low growing or I yeah. think there's a lot to be said for a very simple scape. Look at how they're behaving. They're behaving like they're in the river. Not that I've been to Australia. Are these Australia? Uh, yeah, sort Some of, of yeah. Yeah, all around that sort of area. Australasia. There you go. You cover, okay. most, you cover most bases with that, don't you? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I'm so I'm so happy. It's really it's really set something off in my head that makes me want to do this kind of really basic hardscape. Um, so much swim room. Although you've got a lot of planting, it's not taking up space, is it? No, that's it. You've got enough space for the fish to actually act natural and shoaling, but they've got enough cover that if they want to dart away, they can. Look at the quarries, Matt. They're looking great as a little group, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, I love it. So I think you could do the, sword, the same with like an Amazon sword tank. Yeah, or definitely. Like, I don't know, there's so many different ones. Okay, okay. It's uh -oh. Maybe time for another Amazon tank. Now that I've got this new sort of style that I want to yeah. go for. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love an aquascape tank and the guppies look great in that. Nano tanks, it's very, very difficult to recreate something like this, um, just because you need this sort of space, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you need to sort of space everything out and give everything its own room and create that continuity through the aquarium. I think that's the word, isn't it? It's, it, it, nothing looks out of place. No. Not to blow our own trumpet, but I think we nailed it. Yeah, I like that. It's a nice, it's a nice natural looking river or lake tank. It's really good. Yeah, I'm really impressed with that. Brilliant, great job.